Well, it's a new year, 2013. Um, I'm excited about the new year, excited about the opportunities that are in front of us. Uh, the, uh, here at Clearview, the mission uh, opportunities we have, the opportunities we have right here in our neighborhood to do some things we're going to do to, to really reach out to our neighbors. Um, we've just come out of a very busy Christmas season. I know some of you probably have not been able to attend for a few weeks. And um, so let me just remind you of a couple of things. One, uh, starting uh, this week, we have Mark Satterfield, who's joining our staff. Mark's our new executive pastor, and I know you're going to want to introduce yourself to him, get to know him, uh, just to kind of let you know it's very helpful uh, when a new guy comes on a church this size. Just introduce yourself a number of times, uh, remind him who you are, and um, uh, remind him of your name each time. But just me, he, Christine, and uh, the, uh, the two boys as they as they join with us here at Clearview. I'm very excited to have them with us. And don't forget, this year, uh, all year long, we're in a series together of teaching uh, on Sunday morning during the message time, but you also have some things personally you can do. Some of our small groups are doing this, and that is to preach through the Bible. We're calling this The Story, A Chronology of Hope, and we are going through chronologically through the Bible. Uh, I don't know if you've ever done that or not, but there's a, a resource and a help that uh, can help you kind of follow along. It's called um, Read the Bible for Life, a reader's guide. And so uh, we have that available. If you, if you don't have a copy of that, a book, it costs $10. Um, and uh, we have that available here at the church. And so you can pick a copy up here. Or if you don't want to spend the $10, there's also a place online on our website at clearview.org where you can uh, click on that. It will take you right to the reading plan. You can keep up with where we are. Just encourage you to make plans to be here as many Sundays as you possibly can. Uh, if you miss, uh, you can miss a couple hundred years in, uh, in the Scripture. And so, don't want to miss this year. Look forward to having you here each Sunday. Great year in front of us. And I uh, look forward to uh, spending the year with you just in ministry together and in looking at God's Word together. So, uh, look forward to seeing you this coming Sunday.